Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the inside of my trailer, uh, my rolling man cave as it is, and here we go. So take take a ride. On the outside, I've got handles and lock plates, and coming in the door, you first see I've got a big eight-gallon uh, brewing pot but I use it for fresh water. And if you take a look inside, you'll see I've got a UV sterilizing lamp that comes on every day for three hours to uh, sterilize water. I keep water in that because you never know when the um, it could rain and the electricity might go out and or I don't have fuel for the generator. It's just good to have water on hand. And turning the corner, I've got a wide format inkjet laser printer for mainly for uh, doing t-shirts I have a, a shirt press I'll show you in a little bit I've got a toaster oven uh, boda bottles um, here we go an ice maker then I've got my four drawer filing cabinet full of research papers and other things and a galons toast wave uh, oven it broils it's a convection oven it uh, cooks pizza microwaves does it all so it's nice to have that too and of course my coffee maker espresso maker actually and backpack and incinerator toilet which runs on 110 volt current nice to have it can run on the generator or off the solar panels. Um, got a full size refrigerator, freezer, whirlpool, it's nice to have. And I can easily fit two weeks of food in there, uh, no problems at all. Swinging over, I'll show you my solar controller. And this is an all in one system that uh, I talked about earlier in the other videos. It handles the incoming 250 volt current from the solar panels and it also sends out the DC current to the batteries at the right voltage and amperage, etc. It also takes 110 volt from the generator or from a, some type of hookup, you know, RV hookup. And you can scroll through multiple menus. And here we can see I'm pulling about uh, 610 watts, 620 watts. So it's very convenient, great to have. It's 5,000 watt, five kilowatt, pure sine wave inverter, which is excellent for the electronics because I have a lot of sensitive electronics. Uh, swinging over, we can see my futon sofa bed uh, and my 4K. 65 inch big screen TV that I use for video editing and for entertainment. Also, uh, you can see the Pioneer split air systems 12,000 BTU, it's heat pump and uh, AC. Then I've got a uh, um, Firestorm infrared electric heater over there, too. And then coming up here, I've got a color laser printer that's for documents uh, Sony 10 inch subwoofer and uh, my dog's bed Grace um, got a fan over the, her bed in case she needs to be cooled and my laptop um, this is a 1080p 3d TV set for doing uh, 3d videos and other things I've got a Huion uh, drawing tablet. Um, this is a oak desk that somebody throw on, thrown out at uh, the apartments I lived at on campus at graduate school and I grabbed it. It's three feet by six feet and I put a chest of drawers on top and I've got an Amarantz uh, seven channel receiver. It has eight HDMI inputs, Panasonic Blu-ray players and Coming over, here's my desktop PC and my camera, as you can see them all stacked there in front of it. I'm running a Core i9 
10 850k it's a 10 core 20 thread unlock processor not overclocking it right now i've got a amd rx 6700 xt video card a um, asus um, 360 millimeter liquid cooling system 32 gigabytes of of ram and one nvme 500 gigabyte boot drive and one two terabyte uh, SATA SSD M.2 uh, drive, two uh, six terabyte helium enterprise class hard drives for, for data. And you can see my GH5 um, camera, Panasonic Lumix. I've got a Fiatech uh, gimbal for the camera, and I've got the Zion Smooth 5 for the uh, smartphone, which I'm not using at the moment, so I hope it's not too shaky, and an Osbot AI tracking camera, and a Insta360 uh, 360 degree high performance camera too. And then coming over further, got of course the fire extinguisher, I've got pots and pans, my window, which unfortunately is just single pane. I might install another window, but use a home double pane uh, system instead of using one that's specifically made for RVs and trailers. And of course the porthole doors that act as windows too. And then down below I've got a uh, dehumidifier. And um, in case I'm running propane heat inside, I can pull the moisture back out of the air and actually use that to drink because I've got a UV light installed in its tank too and my t-shirt press for making t-shirts and I've got a Zocop UV sterilizing dryer that's 110 volts and my Mydea Comfy um, miniature it's a, not really miniature it's more like a mid-sized washing machine it can do a big load of clothes, surprising amount of clothes. And I'll show you the kitchen and, and bath areas later. But you can see this is all done with the cheapest components I could find. Everything in here is, was just basically moved in from my apartment. And uh, when I before I took to the road, including lights and everything. And uh, the shelves I made from lumber, from scraps. I could find around they were doing a renovation at the apartments I was living in and it raided the scraps the some of the pieces are from uh, cannibalized uh, futon beds and stuff like that so I used Thompson's water seal on the, the deck and that's really nice because it was able to dry in under four hours so it was easy to apply and I was in a time crunch to get out of there as soon as possible but anyway, that's a quick tour of the inside, and in later videos, I'm going to show you how to install and wire up, hook up, plumbing, electrical, everything, so that everything runs um, without a hitch, a really tight ship, in those future videos. So we'll learn a lot together, and uh, you guys take care, and thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button or the like button if you can. I'd appreciate it. Take care. Bye.